Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sean the Buffalo video. Hope you've all been well. And today we are covering Mew 2 and Mew GX in Expanded. Yes, another Expanded video. Now, as I was saying yesterday, the, the card pool and access to tools in Expanded makes every deck a lot more broken. A card like Mew 2 and Mew GX that has the ability perfection, which you can use the attacks of any Pokemon GX and EX on EV, Bench, or in a discard pile, gains so many more tools, it's unreal. It can even use Pokemon EX attacks all the way back from things like Genesect EX in the black and white era. Not that you'd ever use a card like that, but all the ones from the Sun and uh, Sun and Moon era, and then all of the uh, all of the EXs in the X and Y era as well. So although you can use things in black and white, I don't think they usually make their way into this deck. But I will go through the deck list of you. We have several. Well, a whole array of attackers. The main one that I focus on is the first competitive deck that I ever played in the Pokemon TCG. So after I joined, I bought Battle Arena decks and I went for like a water toolbox deck. And this was the very first deck that I actually managed to get enough cards for to build the actual deck competitively. And it has the attack to spare ray, so you can discard as many of your Pokemon off your bench and do 10 more damage for each one. So it al allows you now, with a card that came out in Lost Thunder called Giratina, to recycle put in damage counters on your opponent's board via Distortion Door, which this ability puts a damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And then when you use Despair Ray to wipe them all off the board, Distortion Door can bring them back the next turn. Um, we do also have some uh, options to lock our opponents up in both the Noivern GX that has Distort, which stops them from playing item cards, and Sonic Volume that stops them from playing special energy cards. And then we do also have, oh, excuse me, and then we do also have Altaria GX that has the attack Bright Tone, where um, you prevent all damage done to Pokemon from attacks from Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX. So it basically has a little bit of everything. We even have Jolteon EX that prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon, which basic Pokemon are so prominent in the expanded meta that Jolteon just goes leaps and bounds. Another card that is extremely not balanced in expanded is Hypnotoxic Laser. So because we play, as you'll see further down, uh, Rainbow Energy in this deck, we do play a Cabalion that stops us being affected by special conditions if we have a Metal Energy, which obviously Rainbow Energy counts as all energies. Um, we have uh, Megalopony and Jigglypuff to hit the Picarom decks really hard and ADP decks Turbo. Turbo Dark as well, it hits really hard and it allows you to take sweep and knockouts. And then uh, we have a Jirachi to pre uh, prevent our own weakness being done against us in uh, the Mirror Match for example. And then we also have a Greninja GX to be able to hit through things like Vile Plumes and such that, um, that usually wouldn't allow you to attack. Um, and then other other uh, cards like the uh, Flash Ray, for example, if they manage to use that against us, then we can use Miss Slash to get through that. So that's all good. Um, we also have a lot of draw supporters in this deck. So we have two Crobat and two Tadene because we can obviously wipe them off the board so they don't become vi uh, viable targets for ADP to take knockouts on. And we managed to get all of our attacks off via this card, Dimension Valley, which actually reduces the cost of our Psychic Pokemon's attacks by one less. So although all of the attacks that I mentioned before are all like multicolored, we use Aurora Energy, but if they've got two, uh, a two energy cost and we're using those attacks through Mewtwo, then we um, basically only have to attach one Rainbow Energy, which makes uh, which makes Dimension Valley the perfect partner for Mewtwo and Mew GX in this format. We play two Field Blowers because uh, Ability Garbodor and Silent Lab and things, specifically the Ultra and the Crosmo matchup basically, um, is a pain for this deck to deal with, seeing as our Mewtwo and Mew GX does have an ability. And one Ordinary Rod to recover any potential Lele or the Dedene or Crobat. Um, eight balls for consistency, three VS Seekers to recover our supporters, and a small array of supporters that are Acerola that allows us to uh, continually pick up Mewtwo if they don't take a knockout. 
uh, Colrus for draw support and for big benches like uh, Atenasis and things. Uh, two Guzmas, your boy! And a single copy of N, just in case our opponent starts to run away with the game. Two Professors Research, the most powerful draw supporter, and finally rounded off with two Float Stones, four Rainbow Energy, and four Fairies, which is the necessary energy to be able to use our Despair Ray. Uh, so that is all for the deck list, and I will be right back with some games. So we are here with our first match with our Mew 3 Expanded deck. And we will go second, because a lot of the time we can just tend to get the first turn attack. Assuming we don't get hands as bad as this, but uh, so be it. At least we get to Battle Compressor straight away. Uh, we're against some sort of Rathasar deck. So any Rathasars that get points play aren't particularly safe, but it's fine. Um, so we will start with Acerola. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Battle Compressor. And we will get this into play because this is the most essential card to get into play. And then we will dial the machine to make sure that it doesn't go to waste for Acerola and this to get ourselves another Battle Compressor. Eventually through uh, damage pings we can just take out the Rats has eventually. Um, we are going to keep the Cabalion around because Cabalion will be extremely necessary. So I think the only other attack that would help or may help Um, I'm not too sure actually to be honest. Uh, possibly Jolteon. I may as well get it in there because it won't help actually. Uh, so we will go for Quick Ball. Get ourselves our other Crobat. So we have been through an awful amount so we should be able to find ourselves a Mewtwo now. Which we do. And we still haven't played a supporter yet. So the only supporter in there at the moment is Ace Roller. So we're just going to go quick ball for the Dedane. Did they change? And we don't find ourselves... Oh, we find ourselves uh, a Professor's Research actually, so that's fine. Um, so we'll Battle Compressor away, Altaria, Mega Gardevoir, and Mega Lopunny. We're going to keep the Greninja in play because Elusive Master does allow us to draw some more cards. Um, so we could go for Cabalion Elusive Master now actually, but I don't think we're going to. I think we will... Quick ball away the Mewtwo for Jirachi, as we're not going to particularly need that. Um, get rid of these two for the Cabalion, which we are going to bench. And then we will Professor's Research. And all we needed was. <laughs> a float stone, which we didn't get. So, amazing. Obviously. I think we'll battle compressor away. Battle compressor and two ultra balls at this rate. Uh, in fact, we could probably do with an N. N is more, much more useful in the discard at this rate. And then... Next turn, we're probably going to have to ordinary rod our Mewtwo back and our energies. We'll pass here. I 
Oh, we could have potentially used a Giratina to ping these. That would have been much better. So, minor misplay. I'm not sure it'll matter too much. It's just that the Giratina ping brings these down to 50, so then we can use Distortion Door, uh, Distortion from the Neuvern GX to stop them from playing items. But at this point, we have the Cabellion in play, so they can't inflict status ailments on us, so there shouldn't be too much of an issue. I tell you, recording these videos has made me realise one thing. I can talk a lot. <laughs> so, for those of you that are watching, I am going to bring one of these bad boys up on the screen for you. So that any of my viewers may enjoy it. And my camera's doing that dodgy thing again. So, hopefully you can read that properly with any luck. And there's the QR code. And there's code number one for my viewers. Uh, so we do just see a pass from my opponent. So now, because we have Neuvern and Dimension Valley in play, we do get to attach another energy. And is our Colorus in the bin? It is not, and I don't know if it's actually in there either. So we'll Lele and grab our... Actually, we can grab Guzma. And we will now Sonic Volume with the Neuvern, which should totally seal up this game. Uh, because they can't play special energy cards, and they can't inflict me uh, with poison or any of the other conditions due to the fact that I have uh, Cabalion in play. So that's basically a game set and match for this deck. Getting over, not being able to use special energy cards, and not being able to poison me and therefore Super Fang will never knock me out because I'll never take the, the last 10 hit points that they'll need for me to be KO'd to take their prize cards. And the fact that I play Acerola right here means they should never be able to accomplish anything. And there is the victory. So, Neuvern GX showing exactly why it used to be a despicable card but it never saw play because it was a stage one. But now with the Mewtwo and Mew GX showing exactly how despicable it is. Anyway, we'll be right back for game two. So we are back for game two, and I have just called the coin flip and called it right. So would I like to go first? No, I wouldn't. Because generally with four dimension valleys and the such, we can usually attack first turn. So thankfully here we have access to quite a lot of cards and we are against a fire deck he probably assumes that I'm playing metal with the Cabalion up front uh, so that being there doesn't really particularly matter so question is right battle compressor always start with the battle compressor and we will get our Giratinas and this boy into the discard. Excuse me. And then we will discard two cards to be able to get our Battle Compressor right back and Battle Compressor again and thin through three more cards. Uh, so this time we will get our other Giratina, our Neuvern and I'm not sure what potentially would be a useful attacker. If I played Vileplume, Vileplume would have been really good here. Uh, but we do not. So I think Mistlash to be able to hit for 130 to take out the Volcanion is probably the best. So yeah, we'll discard these three. Floatstone, Dimension Valley, and then N. <coughs> we don't see much about anything with this hand. 
that's uh, particularly not very good. Um, so, what is the play here? I think we're going straight for Zenit because we want to draw as many cards as possible. And we need to see, we have both of our Crobats as well. And we have seven of our ball cards left. Now, this is good and bad. We get more battle compressors, which obviously is the aim of the deck, to thin out the deck as much as possible. Uh, that being said, I'm not entirely sure where to go from here. So we will battle compress these. Battle compressor. Uh, I don't think Lele is going to be of any use, and having it in the discard does just mean that I can use this energy drive attack for further use. And then I'm not sure what's not so useful at this point. I don't think we need these. We'll go with um, actually. We won't need enough energy because we want to be attaching only once anyway, and we want to keep the research in deck. So, time to find ourselves a Mewtwo, finally. And we do find one by the skin of our teeth. Um, I don't know if we'll ever need that other float stone, but I'm going to keep it around just in case. So, we will get these into the discard. Finally found a Mewtwo, so that's all good. And what attacks can we do? I suppose we can just start pinging this Sensor Scorch. This is one thing you do want to make sure you do with the deck, is make sure that you never start using your Giratina pings first, unless you're planning on going for some sort of Guzma play. So, I think here we will simply Despair Ray and get rid of, well definitely our Giratinas. And take our first prize. Which is enough for energy, which is good. Because even if he takes this out of play and hits me, we can... Oh my god, he plays in Hans Hammer. Oh, this is awful news. I was gonna say we can Miraculous, uh, miraculous Duo, but <laughs> this weirdo is actually playing Enhanced Hammer. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Enhanced Hammer from Sense Scorch Remox. You love to see it. And Heavy Ball's all over the shop. I suppose Heavy Ball actually is a very good uh, card in this deck. I'd never bring Sense Scorch to expand it. I don't think it gains enough. Um, I mean, the only thing, the only card that you get back and it expanded that's any good, for, well, any two cards would be Blacksmith and the Fiery Flint. If anyone knows that card from Dragon's Majesty, it's only just rotated out. It was a card that discarded two cards to um, add four fire energy from deck to hand. And for whatever reason, he just conceded. Um, I'm not entirely sure why our hand was dead, so we got quite lucky with that one. So we will go for game three. Right, we are back for game three with our Mew 3 expanded deck. And not a, an impressive start by any means. Having to discard uh, a Fairy NG is never good. And it looks like we are against a, another Mad Party deck. So if our opponent puts down any Sinisties, we oh uh, we may just have an ability stonk here I'm not too sure I don't think so though actually uh, so we'll get this this and this out and we'll discard 
this to get ourselves a new three. And we do need Jirachi in this deck, so I am going to have to quick ball for Jirachi at some point. And I think I may do that now. Um, no, we're, I'll find that next. So we'll just get our new two first. And I'm going to try and dig as much as possible. So we're going to Ultra Ball for a Crobat. So get ourselves a Crobat. And we do have the Quick Ball, so that's good. And we have the Float Stone as well, so... Quick Ball away the... Oh! Get this Jirachi. Because we know that, uh, that Mag Party decks do play Mew. And then... Not the best of hands, unfortunately. So we'll just go here. I think we will put another Mewtwo down. And we will simply... Um, despair Ray. In fact, Distortion... Uh, distort probably would have been better there, but... I've already clicked the attack now, so ooh, keep that. But down the line, it just, just means that Giratina Pings will eventually deal with this. See an end from our opponent, so not the best of starts for him, unfortunately. Um, and as this is the last game of this video, we will put this on screen so again trying to get my camera to focus sorry about this there we go so there is a sorry there we go another code for our viewers and my opponent does finally get a basic down and I think this turn we're gonna distort <laughs> so we'll put this here Get rid of the Guzma, find our Jolteon, discard the Jolteon, find another Crobat, and I'm going to leave the pings for now because, like I say, I want to find... I want to be able to find some things next turn. So distort, and we still have the Jirachi, and plenty of bench spaces to be able to ping off any synesties he may get down. And as simple as that, item lock is ridiculously powerful. It doesn't help my opponent's case that obviously he got item locked. So uh, that's all for the gameplay, and I'll get right back with the deck list. See you in a minute. So we're back with the deck list, and I'm just going to describe each matchup that uh, these car uh, attackers that you have access to and expanded, and why they're helpful. This is primarily good against ADP and uh, specifically Picaram. This is good against all decks that only attack with EX and GX Pokemon. So if they don't have a non GX, if, say for example, if they don't play any V cards, Bright Time is basically going to win you the game by itself. Um, Neuven is good, as shown in the last game, against Mad Party because it stops them from playing item cards. And Sonic Volume can also stop them actually attacking. So if you take a knockout and they don't have another energy on the bench, um, to be able to attack with then Sonic Volume will win you that game because they only play four DCEs and two twins usually um, This is good for the mirror match and uh, Picarom as well and uh, not many Picaroms play the uh, Electros so The ones that do can get around that but they still won't be able to take a knockout on a Mewtwo uh, Regardless so Flash Ray stops all basics from attacking so that's why that's there um, Cabalion is good against the Raticate Poison decks and other Poison decks, for example, um, the 
Zoranasis or Zoroactansis uh, deck that you'll have seen in my last video yesterday. Um, because Metal Symbol, while well, you've got a Rainbow Energy attached, means that you cannot get Hypnotoxic Lasered, so therefore your opponent cannot Dead Energy X you. Uh, the Giratinas are there just to ping up some damage onto, the, onto your opponent's side of the board. You can take knockouts on Sinistees and the 30 HP Ratatars if they ever come into play. When you're against Dusk Noir, Trev uh, Dusk Noir Trevenant deck, you can use the Giratinas to ping off the Feebats off their bench before they get to evolve it up into a Melotic and therefore putting you uh, quite far ahead because without Melotic they can't really do anything. Um, Jirachi is for the mirror match, you never use it for its attack, it's to prevent you from getting one hit, uh, one hit KO'd. This is to help clear up your bench and it's probably one of your biggest hitters and it stops, um, if your opponent say for example is an ADP deck you can get rid of those additional two prizes off your bench so they can't win the game with a double boss gameplay like they do tend to play or do tend to gravitate towards like catering their game and then Greninja is just for Mistlash because it gets through anything with the attack Mistlash that uh, isn't affected by weakness resistance or any other effects on your opponent's Pokemon so it's also good in the expanded Luke Metal deck uh, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you give the game, uh, hope you give this deck a test yourselves. If you did like the video, please drop it a like and uh, and show me. I'd really appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you ring the bell for any upcoming notifications. And I will see you all for the next video. See you soon, guys. Peace.